Hey y'all, all right. Um, it's been an interesting day. Um, and then I've had uh, a friend of mine from church. Um, I've just been getting some bad news about her and my friend called and let me know and then we needed a tie for a wedding. So it's been a little bit crazy. And this is super late and I should already be um, somewhere else. All right, so, um, hold on. She's gone, Rihanna. My daughter is, it's her birthday today. And then we don't know how he, her dog would react with uh, our, our friend here. Anyways, check for the dogs up. Sorry, it is chaos here right now. Um, shoot, I did not get the pesto. Let me get the pesto and hopefully I can open it without hurting my arm and yours. Sorry about that. Uh, this shows basically that in no matter how crazy your life is, I guess you can do this, sort of. Um, okay, so we're gonna do the um, basil, no, pesto ranch chicken. Again, that was just an accident because I'm not a huge pesto fan. And I meant to already have these open, so I'm sorry. I'm probably gonna have to bang them. I've been suffering for a few weeks um, from like, I guess, tennis elbow. I'm sure it's just a joint pain that comes at this age and it really is painful. Oh, that opened great. Okay, so all you need, this is a, um, I'm glad I got some spoons over here. Uh, this is a recipe that's not, I wouldn't even really say it should have to be like a freezer recipe. It's one of those I've wanted to do a series for a long time that I haven't done, um, where we talk about like having ingredients for like six different recipes, seven, whatever you need so that you always have an easy, these are, okay, these are easy. Yeah. Um, uh, so you always have meals on hand no matter what life throws you no matter how chaotic it is um, and so this one all you need you know just make sure you have some parmesan cheese some pesto some ranch um, i always have cream cheese i have a bad habit of like going to like say aldi um, and grabbing like a couple things of cream cheese everywhere every time i go so we just always seem to have cream cheese. I usually that with corn, I guess, because my husband was like, why do we need 20 cans of corn? I don't know. Don't even eat that much corn. Uh, so, um, this is a great uh, non-freezer recipe to just keep at your house for busy days, busy lives. Um, I'm so thankful this is so easy to open. All right. So in each bag, I have two-ish pounds of chicken breast. Um, I, what I try to do is, I didn't get a rag, dang it. I wish my life, no, I don't want to slow down. It's okay that it's busy. Um, two, so it's about two pounds of chicken in each one. When they're on sale, I try to find the biggest one because often it's a limit of two packages per purchase. So I'm digging through and trying to get the ones that are closest to the four pounds so that I can get about two pounds in each bag. Okay, so we've got um, the pesto and now about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm choosing to do this because I'm just that weird person with dairy and I don't know how that would react. I'm gonna just do it this way. Um, would do with the shredded cheese. Just some things I feel personally, I don't want to freeze. And then, whoa, it's a lot. Anyway, I uh, cook on in a crock pot all day. Um, garlic, I've got a huge mess up here, or huge, I don't know, I'm gonna put this down. Um, and then garlic. No, I don't wanna do that, okay. And if you don't, you're not a huge garlic fan, as always, leave it out. If you really like garlic, add more. I'm sure this is probably about close to two tablespoons or one and a half tablespoons. And then, whew, strong, I need um, the uh, ranch. I'm sorry, this is such a day. Um, use whatever ranch you're comfortable with using. 
DIY it if you want. Um, I've done that a few times, but again, sometimes you just need convenience and if you can't tell, I need a little convenience in my life right now. Okay, and then salt and pepper and that is it. Let me grab another spoon. I dropped the spoon from the salt and pepper. Okay. And I'm not going to put a tablespoon of salt or pepper in any of these recipes. It's just the one I grabbed. And I don't remember, but many years ago when I did this all the time, I remember something about salt or pepper. Maybe it was salt when you prep and then freeze and then cook. One of them either becomes stronger or weaker. So I don't typically add quite as much as it's called for and then just taste before. Again, lately I don't know if my taste buds are off or what, but I have been um, over salting. And when you over salt, you pretty much have ruined it. You can't fix over salting. Um, okay. So my Sam's had freezer bags on sale. You had you had two sets of gallon and two sets of quart, and it is a huge, so much better of a deal than buying them from Walmart. Okay, I think that's everything. Yep. Okay, that's all I needed here. So I'm going to add day of uh, some chicken broth and then um, the cream cheese about an hour or so before it's done. Uh, you can do it however you want. And if you feel comfortable freezing your cream cheese, then freeze your cream cheese. And I try not to add a whole lot of liquid. Um, so this week I had three freezer meals in my tote. And one of them had a little hole somewhere. And so a bunch of what, well, it wasn't a bunch, but some liquid leaked out. And I just find that I prefer to make sure that, um, I thaw them in a container, and it's just a little plastic, like shoe box thing I bought from, I don't know what matter. I'm sure Dollar Tree has them. That way, I don't have dried, nasty, raw chicken or beef or whatever, pork juice all over. Okay, I'm just gonna finish this one and move those. And try to clean up for just a second. I try not to spend too much time cleaning up, but my work area is so small. Okay. And do not pick them up. This, okay, there's an example. The, a couple of them do not stop. There's not a stopper to stop them. And I do not want for you or me to lose a whole bag of food. Okay, now the hamburger soup. All right, so I gave you two different recipes to look at for hamburger soup, but you use whatever hamburger soup recipe you know your family likes. So what I did is this last week, our grocery store had them on sale and I bought two big chubs, because that's what was on sale. Um, and then I cooked them yesterday and they were a little fatty. Uh, and so I, I need to talk and work. Um, did not want to rent. I was doing my milk and other things at the same time as cooking the hamburger meat. So I just used paper towels and soaked up as much as I possibly could. But this is not a THME, this is a low carb type vegetable hamburger soup. Um, so you, you use whatever you want. If your family wants corn, if your family likes uh, whatever it is, you can switch it up. But I did go with the um, one that I consider to be a low carb soup because I want to make uh, a cornbread, uh, a low carb cornbread to go with it. Okay, I'm gonna take a drink and move my water. Okay. And then I did not make it to the store today because I had many other things I was trying to get done. And I was gonna get an extra thing of seasoning blend because I was worried I was running out, and I was. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that in a second. Okay, please. Oh, and then I used my chopper and I chopped up a big thing of mushrooms. I did the Baby Bella, but again, I don't know if what I do makes sense. 
I did not want to cook the mushrooms with the hamburger meat with all the grease in there. So I used paper towels, got out as much of the grease as I possibly could, and then added half the mushrooms, cooked that for a little bit, and then took it out and then did the other set of hamburger meat. So soaked up the grease and then added mushrooms. And my brain, because mushrooms absorb, I didn't want them to just sit there and absorb all of the um, grease from the hamburger meat. I don't know if that's what it does, but in my brain, that's how it works. So I didn't want that to happen. Okay. Now I did buy, and I was gonna show you, but I'm, I'm running out of time, it is so late. Um, I did buy the crushed tomatoes and the canned green beans. I have not written on them that said to put on there for the hamburger soup in the freezer, but I did purchase them. I just have to write on that so that I have everything I need for this. Um, you can dump everything in here. Oh, I need the chicken, the beef broth. I did not buy that. Um, again, for me personally, a lot of stuff leaks out. I'd rather may add it the day of, but if you want, add everything that will fit into a bag. Um, I just, it will, it will save space and I don't have to worry about replenishing it if there's a hole in the bag. And it's not every bag that happens to you, but I would say at least one out of 10 gets a, at least a small hole and some of the liquid leaks out. Okay. I can talk any faster. All right, so I have a tiny thing of onions here. I'm just gonna drop this in one of the bags. I don't know why I kept that, but I kept it. Where are my scissors? So I have one seasoning blend unopened, so I'm going to try to divide that between the bags. I really wanted to have everything cut open and set up. I just literally ran out of time. And right when I was hitting play, uh, or whatever, go live. Um, my friend called and said that um, uh, her husband needed a tie for the wedding. He had forgotten his tie, I guess. And so I'm so glad I didn't hit go live because then they would have been desperate needing a tie. Okay, this is, you know, eyeballing it. This is not exact. This is, it's just me making this work as fast as I can. Okay, and there's just a little bit left in here, so I'm just gonna go down the line again. Now, as, I've always, as I continue to say, if you want, use fresh. Do not use the frozen. You do not, there's no reason that you have to. I'm just trying to um, do this for convenience to show anybody can pretty much do this. Um, you just need a little time and a freezer and you can do it. All right. Each bag is going to get cauliflower. Now, on the cauliflower, if your family freaks out when they see cauliflower, my tip is blend it up. You can, you can pre-blend it, um, or um, what I will do is I will cook this in the crock pot and then. Um, See how it looks, and if there are some big cauliflower chunks, I will take that out, add it to a blender that can blend some hot things, because not all blenders can. I didn't know that, but I guess it's a thing. And I will um, blend that up and just put it back into the soup. I'll get some of the liquid from the soup. Okay, one more bag. Now this, another option, uh, if you wanted to buy everything for the soup, is you can have to label these or put these together in the freezer so you don't have to freeze open and then dump from one bag to another. You don't have to do that. Um, so don't get, you know, I'm just giving, I guess, ideas and how I'm doing it and maybe it'll work for you. Um, each bag is supposed to get a cup of peas. Okay, so I should have pre looked at this. This is two-thirds of a cup and that's four servings. So I'm going to try to eyeball two-thirds of a cup of the piece. I did buy two bags, but I think I'm going to need the one. And my husband will not complain because he does not like peas. At least green peas. Okay. Um, tomato paste. In here somewhere there it is okay each bag gets two tablespoons I feel like I've been live forever now I don't know why it feels like that maybe it has been a while I don't know 
I tried finding a squeeze tube at my local Walmart, and I'm guessing my town is just too small or something. I don't know, but I couldn't find one. So that would be so much easier than this. I'm gonna add the tomatoes last because I don't want them to make a big giant mess. And again, I do not know how to say this. Uh, I have done previous videos where I was so confident that I was saying it right, and I was wrong. And I have practiced, I don't remember, so I just do the washer sister sauce because somebody will come at me one day, I'm sure, for saying it wrong. And each bag gets about two tablespoons. And again, you feel free to measure and not eyeball it. Okay. Oh, I needed to put my brace on and I forgot. Okay. Uh, some parsley, and if you have fresh, use fresh. Just use a lot more. Nope, to the side. And I don't remember how much parsley. My thing's on the floor. I ran out of room. Okay, that should be good. And then some thyme. And again, if there is something in here that your family hates, just leave it out. Okay, huge tip real quick. If you're like me and sometimes you or family members take the tops off, if you were, I think I wasn't live when I did this the other day. I, I may have been live, I cannot remember, but I dumped Italian seasoning in and did not look to see if it had the top. It did not, and so I had to scoop out Italian seasoning. So be safe and just kind of, I double check before because I was just going to shake it and I would have probably dumped almost the whole thing of thyme in. All right, and then salt and pepper. I'm gonna add garlic. I don't think the recipe calls for garlic, but I'm gonna add garlic. There's another spoon somewhere up here. Here it is. Oh, shoot, okay, I'll do salt and pepper and then I'll do the garlic. Okay, and then the salt. Um, I don't know how the weather is where y'all are, but um, summer is still here. A uh, hundred and something, 101, 102, but the humidity is like 75%. Uh, no thank you, no thank you. I can't wait till the weather is cool enough that I actually get to make the soup. All right, now I'll do the garlic. I don't think the recipe calls for it, but I don't remember, but I'm gonna add it anyway. And then next I have, I'm going to add these tomatoes, but I'm not going to add the giant can of crushed tomatoes. All right, and then that's going to be the last thing I add. And then I will try to squish it around a little bit and then freeze it. This week I'm definitely pulling out one of the rest meals from last week. Oh, this last week I had, we had the chicken cacciatore last night. We had um, pork carnitas and, um, <laughs> thanks, Fran. Um, I'm blessed, I'm Fetty, like, is okay with it. Um, and so this, the pork carnitas, I have had leftovers twice. Um, use whatever kind of on-plan um, chips you can use or uh, make your own with uh, low carb tortillas or the um, 25 calorie uh, corn tortillas. I um, love either either of those options. Just also, I've done pork rinds and I've done popcorners, um, but I made nachos two days ago. I think I've talked here before that one of my symptoms right now is food aversion, which sucks. Um, and I'll make food and then the idea, I, I told my friend, it's almost like I'm pregnant, I'm not, I'm 49, and at the hospital they did pregnancy tests for the x-ray. Anyway, um, it's just like you, I go to eat and I just don't wanna eat it, but for some reason, Mexican food is just something that I can eat every single day and I'm not Hispanic at all. Um, not that that's a bad thing, I just am saying, it's not in my heritage, but for some reason, you give me some sort of Mexican food and I can eat that every single day. So two days ago I had it as nachos and then today I'm just post a picture but I have just been so insane. I made a quesadilla, so it's like a low carb tortilla 
put some butter, put that in the skillet, put some quesadilla cheese, which you don't need quesadilla cheese, it's just what I had, and I really do like it. And then I put the pork carnitas, and then I added my chopped up cilantro and onions and tomatoes for my meal prep. And then uh, flipped it and cooked it, and then I took blended cottage cheese and salsa, and I you know, cut it into the triangles, and then I dipped the um, quesadilla wedges into that. It was so good. It is, I don't know why. I can, Mexican food almost, that's been a couple of times, but that was one food that I will almost always be able to sit down and eat. Um, so you can try and mix, I don't think it's going to mix very well. Um, and my tip, if you're brand new with all of this, if you don't put the meat in first, if you want to just put the other ingredients and squish and then add your meat, you can. But I don't have like the pause, I'll be right back, I'll go, like it just would take so much time. So, um, and this is no, I did not add the green beans the beef broth or the crushed tomatoes and the bag is really really full as you can see so I would just be kind of picking on what you add so that you don't overfill you can overfill these I've done that previously I think I was doing like shepherd's pie when my kids were little I had another chip I was gonna say oh and if you do like the hamburger soup and you do pre-cook the meat make sure your meat is either cold or not if it's warm, it needs to be barely warm at all, I guess it is. Um, because what happens is it will cause the bag to get softer. I don't, I'm not a scientist by any means, um, but it, the bag seems to get like soft or something. And so then if you put like two on top or three on top and it's full, that, those bags kind of will bust. I've had that happen. Um, so if you do pre-cook some meat, make sure it's cool or cold. Um, and do not overfill. I probably, I might add the green beans to this if I really wanted to, um, but I feel like this is full enough and I want to, again, I don't want to fill my freezer with these giant bags because eventually you will run out of room. Okay, hopefully I didn't talk too fast and I'm so sorry this is so late and I'm getting so hungry for dinner, um, but if you have thoughts or questions or anything, feel free to ask. Um, you're welcome. The low carb tortillas, if you want to use flavored, so I bought regular zero carb, the little ones, like they're like this big. I'm not sure. They're bigger than the lid on the on the garlic, but not a whole lot bigger. And then you can air fry, you can microwave, and you can bake those. Um, I would not turn my oven on right now just for some uh, low carb tortilla chip, or yeah, uh, anyway. Uh, I'd probably air fry or microwave, but you can do that. You can. I find if you pre-cut, it's easier because if you break, they kind of break in odd shapes and then the layers might come apart. So I would pre-cut and if you, I've, I'm probably talking way too fast. I'm sorry, I'm just <laughs> trying to get this done and all these slots keep up popping in my mind. Um, you can also spray them. Uh, I think that helps crisp them up sometimes. And another thing, if you do plain, I hope I do not sneeze. Um, one thing what I would do with my tostada shells when I would do the, the little you know 25 calorie ones is I spray it and then I'd sprinkle like a little chili powder and a little cumin just to give it a little flavor. I just I feel like each layer if it's flavored, um, it just helps the whole uh, meal come together or dish. Um, uh, thank you so much. I think that part of my problem with my elbow is I can't give it complete rest. Like I can't just stop. Uh, and I'm not, anything that involves like a bicep, I'm not doing heavy weights, which is really frustrating because I feel like I'm going back. But I'm trying very hard to uh, not overdo it, but it seems like no matter what I do, uh, it, still, it still is hurting. Uh, I don't ice it as much as I'm supposed to. Um, I do wear my brace. Okay, so it depends. Uh, I'm going to tell you how I do it. This is how I air fry my tortilla chips. First, you, I cut them. I just take my air fryer out and I have just a big Ninja um, that does like 11 or 12, I don't know, it does things that I've never used it for. I place them in there, I shut the lid, I hit power, I hit air fry and I hit start. That's all I do, it's on 390 and it's on 20 minutes. I'm not gonna cook them for 20 minutes because typically I'm still in the kitchen moving around and doing stuff and um, I just kind of will check. Uh, this, I think I made, toast, did I make tostadas this? I think I made, 
I think I've had Mexican every day for lunch. I think I made tostadas this week for lunch. I did. Sorry, uh, my brain is hopefully catching up. And I put them in the air fryer. And what happens, because they're the real thin, thin ones, they kind of will start to warp. So what I did is I took them and stood them. I don't know if you have a pot. Because mine is like this. It's not the flat air fryer. It has two different types of things you can put in there. And this one is almost like a rack. So what I did is then when the, I noticed the tortilla was kind of bending, I put them in a slot and they stood up because they were somewhat already cooked from the air fryer. And I got a little busy and they weren't burnt, but they were a little brown. So what I would do if I were you and you were not some crazy ADHD person doing a million things at once, I would probably set it for 350 to 375 and I would start with about five minutes. That's probably the longest circle answer you've ever received for a question. Um, but I just am so like, go, 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 go. I just throw them and start and then just check. But if you want to be a sane person, I would just start slow, start and, and just kind of see how they do. Because one, the little corn tortillas are gonna probably cook different than the uh, low carb tortillas. And then again, the bigger the chip size you make, the longer they may need to cook. In the microwave, I would do, which no one has asked for the microwave, but microwave, I would start with like 45 seconds. Um, and I would also, you can also experiment because I, I mean, you can throw one in there for 45 seconds and see what happens. Um, okay, again, if y'all have more questions, I'm going to finish this so I can clean up. My husband should hopefully be home soon. He was stuck in Arkansas for over three hours. Um, uh, if you're asking me, Jennifer, about each of these recipes, yes. And I, I know that there are ads on my website, and I am so sorry that there are ads on my website, um, but. I can't do all this for free and it does take a lot of money for me for my blog to be up and hosting and everything that I pay for every year um, or at there are monthly fees I have to pay for the things as well but I do have everything organized if you go to jenniferoverstreet.com the very top pinned post is where I think it's like fill your freezer Friday with trim healthy mama or something I mean it's a really ridiculously long title and if you click that then it has like a link to the bags and the bag holders, which you don't need those. They're just helpful. That's all they are. Um, but you scroll and I'll have links to every single video I've done in here because then I upload them to YouTube. I have a link and I'll tell you for the recipes. I have week one, week two, week three, all the way to week eight. And then for week, whenever I get the chili, I think I link to a couple of different chili recipes because I've got pumpkin chili, taco chili. I, I've got so many. <laughs> and then... For this hamburger soup, I, sh I linked to this specific one, and then I also did an E um, hamburger soup. I think the E hamburger soup might call for potatoes. If it does call for potatoes, I would add them fresh. I would not add them to the freezer bags. That is another picky thing for me. I am not a fan of potatoes that have not been cooked, but frozen like that and then cooked. But you can experiment and you might like it. But yes, I try to keep um, everything linked. Um, this next week, I haven't posted it yet, but I've got to get my sweet and sour chicken up. So that's what we're gonna. I'm gonna make next Friday, and then there's hardly any good meat cells right now. It's gonna be pork chops every single week. Um, oh. Thank you, Fran. Uh, I do too. I know exactly. Click, click, and go. Um, hi, Lori. Um, what was I about to say? Ah, I lost my train of thought. Um, I lost my train of thought, so I apologize for that. Um, this is probably the longest video I have ever done on here, and I apologize for that. Uh, I doubt I'm going to get my, my I bet it's not going to come back. Um, but, um, oh, I think, it, I think it was the soup. I don't know what I was going to say about the, the, the soup. I, you can experiment with all of this stuff. I just, for me personally, I feel like most of you would be like me. I don't want to do too many experiments, maybe with a small amount, but I don't want to pull out a bag and then something, like the whole dinner be ruined. I'd much rather take like this, mix this up, and like in a quart size bag, put a small amount with like one chopped potato and just see how that works. I would hate to ruin a whole entire bag. I do not like carrots. When I see people put like the baby carrots in their freezer meals, in their freezer, I know I'm not gonna like it. I do not like the texture of 
Um, oh, that's it. It's pork chops almost every week. Cheap hamburger meat every now and then. I used to get so many buy one get one free or buy one get one for a penny meats. Um, and they're not. So this week I've got sirloin steak again. What I think I'm going to do is I'm either, I think I'm going to take one of my roast recipes, either my beef ragu or again a Mexican because I love the Mexican um, and make one of my like shredded beef, like taco type things. I haven't decided yet, um, but that beef ragu is so delicious and I don't see roast going on sale anytime soon. I don't think they've been on sale except once in this entire series and I know I'm at least one week behind. Um, so nine weeks of this, and I used to get it a lot more, uh, have it on sale. I'm going to stop talking. I could just stand here and talk all day, if you couldn't tell. Um, so I'm thinking of something with the sirloins uh, for next week, and then the um, sweet and sour chicken. Uh, that is it. I hope that you have a great weekend, and I've got some cleaning up to do. And again, y'all keep, keep asking questions, commenting, whatever, and I will definitely get back to you at some point. And if you're in my monthly group, I'm about to ask how your day was. I don't think I've asked that yet. Um, but y'all, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Um, and thank you for the sweet uh, comments. I really do appreciate it. Uh, it's kind of nerve wracking to try to do this and I don't have a script. I don't, I'm just, just me in a kitchen. Uh, but thank you for watching and have a great weekend. Oh, okay, hold on, one more thing. Oh, that sounds really good, Fran. I hope you really liked it.